Hey everybody, so I'm back, and um, basically, um, I, I messed with some of my adapter settings to see if maybe um, that would help with that tearing that was happening, and um, uh, what I did was turn on V-Sync, and uh, things look a lot better. Um, this is still kind of like a test run, but um, I have a, I, like I said, I have a 4K monitor. That tearing was ridiculous. Uh, luckily, it didn't show up in any of the recordings, as far as I could tell. So, uh, so far I'm going to go ahead and call it a win on that front. And, uh, we are now on the second part of a game. So, uh, the village has always been my favorite part of this game. Um, I think it's a great place where it's not too hard to, to, to figure out what it is you're doing. The enemies aren't too bad. It's not nighttime. They're not super strong. And there's nothing coming out of their heads when you shoot them off. So, but um, so there's a few different people around here. Um, there's that guy over there. I'm gonna try to get to come towards me. I'd rather them come towards me than me th move throughout the village and then um screw something up. If that makes sense. Oh, hey, see? The chicken laid an egg. I'm gonna go grab it before it disappears. It might be a golden one. No, it's a white one. No, it's a brown one. I'll take it. What else is there to take? There must have been something on the ground. Oh, it's the, uh... This is the blue medallion thing. So there's, uh, what, 15? You only need to kill 10. Uh, usually I get all 15. Um because I know where they all are, but I might just get 10 this time to, take, to, to preserve my ammo. Although, by that time, I usually get the TMP, and then, um, and then it's not so bad to take uh, these long shots like this, I guess. It's not, you don't waste as much ammo when you have the TMP. So, let's get this guy over here. I'm gonna get him. Yes, alert your friends, please. Alright. This is a pretty good place to kind of funnel them all towards you, um, mostly. There's really not that many enemies here, though. Oh, look at him. He thinks he's a clever John. Indeed. Oh, oh well. That works, too. I was planning on doing basically that. Okay. Cool. All right. Hey, I'll take it. There's also a hidden treasure here. Um, there's treasures throughout the game that are worth more than, like, um, hey, there's another egg. I'm gonna get that. That's worth more than just the, uh, the spinals or whatever random, like, thing you find lying around. They're usually unique items, and there's only, like, maybe one or two in the whole game. Uh, that are treasures, so. One of them's right over here by this, uh, well, I guess it's called, or whatever. Um, so, I think it's, yeah, it's right there, you can see it. If you shoot that off, it goes right into the water, and then when you sell it, it's worth basically nothing. So what you have to do first is shoot that lid. You can't open it, because if you open the lid, it won't go back down. And you can shoot it, and you can take it. If you let it fall into that water, there's you, you can't get this lid back up, so you just have to accept that you lost a lot of money there, basically. So, and I think I know where almost every hidden treasure is. I've got a really good, um, I think, grasp on that, so... You do come back to the village later on at night, um, which makes it a whole lot more spooky, but, um... I'd rather get the pendants now, the medallions now, uh, while I'm thinking about it. Hey, there's another egg. Wow, I usually do not get this lucky. Hey, is that another egg? Cool beans. I will take them. Like I said, they do not heal very much, but they, they are better than nothing. So let me get this medallion. That might have alerted somebody in that building. Doesn't seem like it. I think you can shoot the cows, but I don't, like I said, I don't do that because I don't 
particularly like the idea of hurting, even though it is just a fake animal, an animal. So. Stinking pool of manure. Sis. Wow. I've actually never noticed that that was there before. Those, those dead bodies. Cool. So I'm finding new things that I didn't even know about. Alright, so yeah, that, that terror, it looks like it's gone. There's still a little bit of lag, but man, that, that terror was the worst part of it, so... I'm gonna go ahead and call that a win. That guy's just standing there. I'm gonna give him something to do. Come on. I'm gonna try to filter him kind of through here. I think is an alright enough spot. I know there's a medallion up there. There's another one over there on that windmill. And another one over there too, I think. Alright, good. So there's another hidden treasure here, um, or part of one. Some treasuries you have to find three or four parts to before you get their full worth. The one here is a beer stein. Um, so you take the stein and I think three or four jewels are inlaid into it and then it's worth a whole lot of money. I've been getting a decent amount just from, uh, from killing these guys. All right. The medallion up there. Um, it'll be easier to shoot if I'm up on the top of the loft here. See, I know most of everything that I'm doing and saying. Got our spinal, or spinal. I do not know how that's pronounced. I usually call them spinels. I don't even know what they're really supposed to be. They just look like some kind of garnet or something. I'm not a geologist, so hooray. Whoever it is that studies rocks. Yeah, that's geology. I was thinking of geography. That's what was confusing me. Yeah, it's, yeah, a lot easier. So shooting all those gets you a gun at the merchant, a free gun. Uh, I usually don't keep it. I usually sell it right back. Um, so there's the medallion over here. I'm gonna go ahead and get the stuff over here before I get the beer sign. And there's another one there. Okay, I'm gonna get closer. I can't I can't waste all this ammo. Well there wasn't really a point to that, but uh There might be later on. I need to put it back up though so I can get back up there. Alright. I think later on you might there's a bunch of like bear traps and stuff in here. Cause you have to go through that door. Alright, oh, there we go. So, the first time I ever played this game, actually, I was at a friend's house, and um, this game came out on several different platforms at the time. Um, it came out originally, I think, on the PlayStation 2 and the GameCube. Um, and then later, they made a port to the PC that I heard was not very good. So here's our legendary treasure, the beer stein. Um, which you can only get to from there. So if you examine the beer stein, let's see, key treasures. You'll see that uh, there are three recessions. That's a pretty big indicator that you have to fill them with jewels. If you don't fill them all with jewels, you can still sell the sign, but it's not worth as much money. I'm gonna do one more quick sweep around here to see if they laid any more eggs, and then I'm gonna move on my way. golden egg would really, uh, really hit the spot, but several, uh, brown and white ones will, will do as well. Later on, um, later on there's no more chickens, because you're moving to different locations, and the other locations just, uh, aren't very adequate for chickens, so you have to get them from snakes. Yeah. Alright, I think that's it. It's time for me to stop screwing around. Move on. <coughs> hmm. So yeah, the first time I ever played this game was actually on the GameCube. Um, so it's kind of weird to be playing it um, on the PC with an Xbox uh, 360 controller. Which is what I'm using. It should be obvious from the way the buttons are glowing. So you gotta do one of these. 
Indiana Jones type moments here. I couldn't do it fast enough. I'm really not very good at button mashing. Uh, yes, I'll continue. And there goes my no death run. Uh, I was I was never intending to do one of those, but <laughs> but now I don't even have the option. So I'll try again. Why, why you can't dodge before that time, I don't know. Uh, it seems like the, I could have done, dove behind one of those trees or something way early on, but um, guess not. So there's actually a guy up on those bridges, but I'm going to leave him alone because it's really hard to kill him and get him down to a point where if he drops an item, you can get it. It's, it's hard. It's almost impossible. Well, not really, but it is hard. A lot of times you go through these tunnels and there's uh, there's jewels kind of hanging out on the roof for some reason. You can kill these bats, by the way, but I, there's no point to it. They don't have any items or anything, so if you kill them, you're just going to kill them. So, let me see if I can shoot that guy's freaking dynamite here. It's kind of hard to do, but I did it shoot their dynamite and even if it's not lit they die um, there's a lot of traps in this area it's the trap village is uh, I think how the official strategy guide claims the name of it is so I'm not gonna be able to get that guy's item but if he even drops one damn it I I just could not get it I tried and he moved, he switched hands, so... He must be ambidextrous fellow. This is also very difficult. <laughs> oh my gosh. See, there's two guys in there, if I can... Alright, I'm wasting too much ammo, I'm just gonna have to deal with it somehow. So I'm also, I also have to take out that stuff too. There's lots of those traps in there. I gotta find out where that's from. Okay, I'm alright. Let's get out of here. Alright, where is this guy at? Oh, he was trying to make a run for me, I guess. For some reason, it's a lot easier to shoot it out of their hands when they're throwing it in the air. Like, I don't know. I guess it just makes a very predictable arc, and it's just a lot easier to do it that way. Okay, we got that. There's that there. You can see kind of through that door is another guy. I'm going to try to shoot his hand off. Good. Alright. Well, sounds like my pig's getting into something, so I just want to have to deal with that at some point. So you can hear, I know that there's a treasure up there, by the way. There is a treasure here. At least one. You can hear... Oh, there he is. There. Oh, what the heck? Oh, a cable fell. Sorry. So a cable fell around my ankles, and I thought, oh, I couldn't, I did have, I, I made it in here enough in time to get that. There's a guy there. Come on. Hello. Good. I need that handgun ammo pretty bad after this village. Alright, that's the last enemy here, I think. Yeah. So you can hear, um... The, basically the only guy I think you ever actually interact with that's not a bad guy or Ashley Graham right now you can hear him he's banging so I know I, I'm sure that there's still some stuff in this village that I don't know of um, make sure there's no traps I don't think there's any more there's, 
I do know that up here in this bird's nest, if I can shoot it, I think is a piece of the beer stein. Yeah. So, let me go in there. These treasures. Boop -a -doop. Salmon. <coughs> so it was set in something, so there we go. So now it's that's worth way more, way, way more money than it was before. I'm gonna have a pretty... how much money do I have? It's a pretty decent amount of money to have for our first meeting with uh, our merchant, so we're definitely gonna be able to upgrade some stuff. Maybe I'll sell the uh, shotgun. It's not very useful later on, the pump action isn't. Alright, let's get in here. I think I got pretty much everything. So there's another typewriter in here. Some more money. Oh, had a bit of lag there, so there we go. How much ammo do I have? 50, 64 right now. And I also have a lot of shotgun ammo. I think I got a decent amount of healing items, so I'm doing pretty good. Um, I'm kind of near the mark where I wanted to be, around 15 minutes, but I guess I'm going to go ahead and just keep going. Blow this up. Kind of got to get into that corner there, because if you're not in the corner, that'll hurt you. So now I can get this money. And in here, for this herb. Cool. Itching my nose. There's not a whole lot more uh, before this chapter's over, so that's why I went ahead. It's, not, it's, it's literally pretty much as soon as I open this um, this closet here. I don't think there's anything in this room. No, there's not. All right, let's get to the cutscene. I think the graphics look a little better too after I mess with some of those settings. Think? <clears throat> oh. You're not like them? No. You? <clears throat> okay. I have only one very important question. You gotta smoke. Got gum. Ha <laughs> uh ha. -huh. Perfect. The big cheese. Another thing about this game is that they, uh, yeah, the hit ratio went way down because, because of that village. Uh, they keep saying the big cheese, like, they say that a lot, way more than I feel is necessary, but, um, so it looks like it should be around 18 minutes, uh, that's a pretty good ending point, I think, so, next time I'll get into... So after Lewis, we have to go to the the valley place, the cliff place. I'm not really sure where it is, but uh, we'll get there. I'll see you on the next one that I do here. So, goodbye. That was probably the weirdest goodbye ever. Let us give you...